Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hi everyone, Son of Beast here, and Woodsbury are here for our next part of the game uh, for the rivals of NHL 24. This next matchup, as we're about to be seeing one of each two, that the teams are about to be doing for their face-off to go for their penalty time in the central division of the teams. We have is the Chicago Blackhawks, and they are facing at St. Louis to play against the St. Louis Blues. And this is one of the biggest teams here that we are all calling for. You know what this all turns out? Because of how well they have done, they've been doing so much about it. And they've gotten so much rougher over the years. Because at that point, the tough two were definitely part of the trouble ones in the Western Conference section that turned out to be too much to go for. Yeah, and exactly that's true. Here's one thing that they have done. The same division and it's the most intense rivalry in terms of penalty minutes of, and fighting as well. Definitely the same thing that goes with the last game if you've already have watched the Red Wings and the Blackhawks. These are the uh, top two of this ranking and they have been already been fighting things along. Just like the Blues did, they are trying to get out of here just a moment in time in cases. And the height of this rivalry during the North David Division days, it was a calling to go to Chicago versus St. Louis the game and see a brawl breakout. Yeah, I know this was a lot that happened because this was the part of it that they have been doing it so far. Well, their first meeting was definitely happened on November 12, 1967. This was tough to be honest right now. The plane go from playing to St. Louis to draw out and then going to Chicago to draw them out. They also do that at the same time like everybody else did. Yeah, and it's exactly not even the best choice to be honest because we don't know how they're going to happen. With their next meeting, it will be happening on April 10th, 2024. So keep your eyes peeled. If you have your games down, you can watch any time here in the St. Louis area on Bally Sports app. Also, if you have an ESPN Plus description, it's also right here down for you here on ESPN. You can also watch that one anytime. And as for our biggest moment that we've seen postseason results, 35 to 28 for Chicago. They were just playing a lot of the largest victories in between, and this was not the perfect way that they all been starting things out. But this is what happens in 2016 for the first round, the Blues won and for the three, and this was the rival tough ones to beat here. So now it's time to find out who are the starting lineups. We have is, for the Chicago Blackhawks, we have is, all calls for, Marizek, and for the St. Louis Blues, we have is Joe Binnington. That will be the top two to our starting goaltenders. And for the starting lineups, we have Seth Jones, Connor Bedard, Taylor Hall, and Robert Thomas, Pavel Butsnevich, and Jordan Cairo. It's going to be a great match up here. Let's get the staying down. Standing by, I have this Jay Sobolski, and along with, and along with Cheryl and Carl will be the center ice. And we'll be back with the post-game show after this game. And now, enjoy the matchup of the Central Division of the Hawks and Blues. Let's go. Checking.
Two minute penalty for St. Louis, number 25 for cross checking. Time penalty, 1905, remaining in the first period of the game for the Chicago power play. Just moments away from the reception of this power play, they're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. The Bluebirds get a hold of the puck in their own end, working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. First goal of the season scored by number four, Seth Jones. He is persisted here by number 17, Nick Foligno, and by number 98, Connor Bedard. Time of the goal, time of the power play goal for the Chicago. Number four, number 17, and number 98. Two fifty-three three remaining in the first period of the power play goal.
remaining in the period. Season score by number 17, Nick Pollardo. His first assist here by number 23, uh, Murphy. And by number 27, and by number 18, Mark Kuczynski. Time to goal for or number 17, number 23, and number 25. Uh, 19, 53 remaining in the first period. That ends the first period. Great reach for the puck. 
tip by Korshaw. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Takes it on, but he's still got the puck. Unable to release that one. Take it along the wall by Korshaw. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Steps across the blue line.
Dumps the puck in. The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. Oh, what a collision there. Well, that's just an absolutely huge hit, James. And there's going to be a soft play here because I think that painted glass is broken. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Season score by number 25, Jordan Kyle. He is first assist here by number 89, Serena Brewerdich. And by number 20, Ryan Thomas. Dominic Gold, number 25, number 18, and number 20, 819, remaining in the second period. Score by number 15, Jakura Ryan. His first assist here by number 20, Brandon Sword. And by number 28, Jerry Buck. Time and a goal, number 15, number 20, and number 49. 10, 39 remaining in the second period of game. Oh, 
Sean through traffic games. The recognition of the net front presence in screen and the goalie drops to the bottom line position. Really tries to make himself as big as possible. Look at the front chest. It's a, I guess he can't see it. It's almost rolling now. I've been taking a one goal lead here in the second. Well, yeah, he might be a wave of advantage on that. Continues to push and press now, James, as they seem to have control of the game. Right Chicago now. goal, his first goal of the season, scored by number 94, Corey Perry. He is first assist here with the hero by number 17, Joy Dickinson. And by number 98, Ty Tyson Johnson. Time to go over 90, uh, number 94, number 17, and number 90. 13 15 remaining in the second period of the game. Season score by number 18, Robert Thomas. This first sits here by number 25, Jordan Cairo. Time in the goal at number 18 and number 25, 15, 53 remaining in the second period. His first goal of the season scored by number 72, Alex Lassen. His first assist here by number 4, Seth Jokes. And by number 23. And by number 34, Raji Narzan. Time to go. Number 72, number 4, and number 34. 16-29 remaining in the second period.
Before we get into the final period, I just wanted to give you a few quick announcements right now because we have something special going on right in between as we are about to be doing a new part of a season for the start of the NBA Rival Week. As of right now, this will be the next one to major in as this one after this All-Star Game. Then we're going to head things over to the other side of it to start off with the Rival Week from February, March to April before the playoffs start here for this part of the game here for the postseason of the NHL Stanley Cup and for the NBA playoffs in between. As you may already notice that this one's a tough part of the team and this one was a best one to just go for for the Chicago Blackhawks and the St. Louis Blues. But that will be happening here on February 24th. That will be the start run for the rivals of the NBA teams that will be hosting in between the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference on both sides. There are no excuse to say that this is only the Eastern Conference and for the Western Conference. There are both of them. Sometimes it could be one. Sometimes it could be the other one. We never know what's going to happen with this one, so we may have a choice of what's going on, like this NHL matchup. But I'll try to find out if there's another rival to take here for the Predators and the Hurricanes, if they're the tough team. Well, let's find out how well they do because we all know how this will happen. Because at that point, it's going to be a hard one to take over. In the meantime, we'll see what happens if there's a new change off to get things started. Anyways, let's head back to Jay Cebulski and on the other side for Cheryl. And Kara will be standing by here to have the best game here for the, for the game of the Hawks and Blues. We'll see you guys later for the post game show after this. Let's kick off the third period. Son of Beast, out. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. It has been an offense of fireworks to spell here tonight. And I would expect it to continue here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now playing. How do you view this one? The Blackhawks continue to lead in this third period, but the question is for how long, James? I mean, this has been a back and forth action back game of offense. Lose goal, it is 
his first goal of the season, scored by number 89, Pavel Bustovic. He is first assisted here by number 8, Daniel Letty. And by number 82, Kyle Perico. Top of the goal for number 89, number 23, and number 27, 116 in the Peru. Donald goal, his second goal of the season, scored by number 72, Alex Valesa. This was assisted by number four, Seth Jones, and by number 27, Brandon Michael. Time of the goal for number 72, number four, and number 72, 243, for the reigning and the first. Twenty Brennan Son. Time to go over number forty seven and number twenty. Four thirty four remaining the third. Tolino's into the offense. 
Chicago goal will be the second goal of the season scored by number four, Seth Jones. Here is first assist here by number 22, Donna Dickinson. And by number 72, Alex Velasquez. Time of the goal, number four, number 28, and number 72. 7.36 remaining in the third period of the game. First assist here by number 12, Jordan Falk. And by number 78, Alex Torresenko. Time to goal, number 12, number 28, and number 72. 8.45 remaining in a third period. Gain the zone. Come shot! Take it 
continues as that goes off the bar. Gets the puck in deep. Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. Handles it over to Kornishev. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And that's a smart heads up play by Thomas. Hunts the boards through the neutral zone. That's dumped in and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. The Blues have it from their own end. Looks to get the puck over to Verona. Trey Green with a stick. The Blackhawks will play from the defensive zone. First goal of the season scored by number 71, Taylor Hall. It is first assist here made here by number 72, Alex Velasic. And by number 34, Pat Jan Merzik. Time of the goal, number 71, number 72, and number 34. 15-21 remaining in the third period of the game.
That's the end of the game. Your final score for tonight's game. Chicago Blackhawks 8 and St. Louis Blues 7. All right, thank you so much, Sergei. If we have three star players, Alex Vlasic with two goals and two assists and hit, only turned out big to beat Binnington right from the save and put that one right to the pressure. The second star goes to Nick Valigno, two goals and assists, and put up 10 hits to try to knock him down. Boom, wow, that is a big one. And your first star goes to Seth Jones. So no odd tricks to this game, as right now three players are already stuck and bound. It's a close one to make that shape. Yeah, it's exactly the truth. I mean, you can tell that, but whenever this guy has been turning out to be one of the team stocks and he had that one with a reporter, it's just had to be a good range to take them all. Because two of those guys really have turned eight things off. Because of only Seth Jones, he just made that one with four kicks, and only had that one with the assist with only two, and he got in a lot much harder than he had. Just before then, they are going to get that one a lot harder than he done. Well, as of right now, here's how they did with the total statistic runs here on the other side. 59 over 49 for St. Louis Blues with the total shots. 47 over 45 for the hits of Chicago. And it was 7 over 3 over 619 for the St. Louis Blues. 93 percentage over 92 for St. Louis. And it was 33 face-off wins over 23 face-off wins for St. Louis Blues. The penalty kill was on St. Louis and a power play goal was made for Chicago with 145 in the minute of their game for the possession. Well, it's exactly what they say because the Chicago Blackhawks, they were really are trying to make the struggle out of them. They are just trying to get that one here very that fast. They're trying to lose them, but this is not how it happens. They are just going to have to keep on practicing for the Blues to get better and better. Well, with all that being said right now, I hope you enjoyed this game. Feel free, please feel free to like, and comment, subscribe to this channel if you like this video. You can also follow me on my social media on X, Instagram, and TikTok, link to my about page on my channel. And as for me a moment, pay side folks for a while as the NHL Rival Week on EI Sports. This is What's Burning and I'm Son of Beast. Thank you for joining with us, and we'll see you all again next time. Adios, everybody.